Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be starting a new planner. So the way that I've been doing my videos and kind of keeping track of them, because a lot of times I will record ahead of time, and this is how I've been keeping track of them, which works for a couple months, but I don't think this is going to be a, a very good idea for the entire year. So I figured it would be a better idea to do an actual planner and that way I could just grab it and I could look and whatever. And also uh, I found this in my stash of stuff. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to use this, but I'm going to make it a little bit more my style. I believe this was a Target book. I don't remember like from the Target dollar spot. Uh, anyway, I'm going to make... I'm going to decorate this. That's what we're going to do today. And then hopefully I'm going to be able to get rid of the stickies all over my, my desk wall, which is what we're working with right now. So yesterday um, I had cut up a whole bunch of these pieces of fabric and I really like this fabric. So I'm actually going to keep using this. I'm just going to steal one from the calendars. I feel like I'm like cricket or something. I'll work. I'll mess with it later. Anyway, it doesn't quite fit all the way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the back with it and then I'm going to wrap the front and I'm going to do something else right here. And it'll make sense. I hope uh, in theory, at least uh, when we're done. So I'm, uh, it does overlap just a little bit on each side, which is, that's what we want. So I'm just going to start laying down some fabric tack because I'm not doing the heat and bond. I'm just going to do the fabric tack on this one um, after I, you know, peel it off of its metal tip here. And this is why we don't use fabric tack on metal because it just peels right off. I know a lot of people swear by fabric tack, but give it time and it will just peel. Plastic, metal, don't matter. It'll just peel off all of it. I'm going to make sure to get the edges pretty good. And hopefully we can get this done in a decent amount of time. But I just wanted to get this done because I, I really like keeping track of my videos. And I've already made one video and wasn't able to track it anywhere. And so I wanted to go ahead and get this done so I could start tracking stuff. And now, please excuse my allergies. My allergies have been going nonstop today. I've already taken a Benadryl. Um, about ready to take another one because I've been sneezing and coughing and sniffing all day long. It's kind of crazy. Just want to make sure that is in fact the front, and it is. I got this. This is We Are Memory Keepers at Tuesday morning. It is awesome. I love it. I love it. Love it. All right. So I'm going to wait for the glue. Okay. I wonder if the mail runs today. Today is actually Friday. It is New Year's Day, which I don't think the mail runs on New Year's Day. But I never remember. I don't think it does. Right. That's sideways. All right. 
So I'm just going to push this down with my hands because there's some knot right here from the um, from the rings on the other side. See, we're gonna go right around here, I think. Put that down. And we're going to do some collage work here. I'll pull this just a little bit because I need it to be able to wrap. And right now it's not quite moving the way that I want it to. So I'm going to pull it up, readjust it a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So there's that. And then we're going to trim these as well. I went ahead and I left all of this stuff in here. It was in here when I found it in my stash. So I'm just going to leave it in there. I don't want to lose it. So I might take this out because this is just being a pain in the tush. And I think it's glued. So let me just take that out. Yeah, it is glued. All right. And this is blank, which is why I really liked it. Obviously. Any other glued parts in here? No. I don't think I need this, though. At all. So we'll figure something out to do with that. Um... There's some dividers I can this is probably more than a year because each page is a week actually each page is two weeks and so we would only need 26 for a single year which is another reason why I was like oh that's a great thing because um, I can put a year on at, on each section basically i'll just grab a few we're going to pretend that's a year i don't know if it is or not grab a couple more just in case then grab another year or another divider another year ish probably not even close to actual accurate guesses here And then add that one. Add it this way. I know this isn't exactly what you guys signed up for. <laughs> I'm sure. But I will most likely title this craft with me because um Essentially, that's what we're doing. We're not really planning or journaling or anything like that. I'm just kind of getting this ready for me to be able to log my um, my recordings. Because I log my recordings. That way it's easy for me to reference them instead of having to try and go and look them up. And this is most likely a full year, I think. I have no idea. Probably more than actually, but I wanted to put this on the front so it doesn't damage my paper, which is what all of that nonsense was just about. There's a note section here as well. 
and then a folder in the back. So I'll go ahead and leave that and then we'll just take all this stuff out. Don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. This is, I think this is the only three ring binder like this I have. It's not currently in use. I do have others that are in use, but they're full of stickers. I'll have to show you guys those one day. I sold actually a bunch of them, like binder and all. I sold them uh, last year when I did a lot of my de-stashing. Mm. Also, I'm not sure if I'm going to do de-stashing yet, but I am definitely going to start doing um, like supplies um, for um, for sales. Um, I'm going to do Facebook sales. It's going to be just like they were when I did my YouTube sales. It's going to be a little bit different because uh, we're going to do it on the Facebook group instead of in YouTube. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, I would suggest hopping on over there and taking a gander at what is over there. I'll try to make sure to remember to put that in the description box as well. Um, right now I'm looking for a nice thick wide lace or fabric or something to cover this up. Mm, that's pretty wide. I wonder if that would work. It's blue. Uh, let me grab my scissors. Because I don't want to bring a whole spool over here. So. What is it that Miss Gale says? Talk amongst yourselves. I think that is the cutest thing ever. I'm sure I just stab myself with my scissors. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. All right. So we're going to do a combination here. Yes. All right. And then I'll figure out some sort of like sentiment or something to go with it. I'm going to... Let's see, we can curve it around like that, I think. That would be suffice. All right. I keep pulling this like way off of my desk. Like I'm not even on my desk when I'm pushing it. I just need to scoot my chair up, I think is the problem. Um, all right. So how are you guys doing? How are you bringing in the new year? I hope everyone is staying safe. And what do you have planned for this year that you wanted to do last year but didn't quite find the time? Are you doing it this year or are you just kind of like, eh, we'll get it eventually? What's happening? Tell me what's going on with you guys. Okay. All right, let's go this way. Okay, ooh, why did I touch that? And then we're going to trim this just a little bit because I can use a big portion of this. I was guessing when I grabbed a piece off the spool, but that's a pretty big piece. We can use that for clusters and such like that, which we will do more of. Um, let's grab, where'd you go? Oh, I just buried it. Like, wait a minute.
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start posting some pictures of um, some things that you guys can look forward to in the Facebook group. Um, things that you guys can look forward to in the first sale. I don't know when I'm going to have the first sale. I want to have it nice and organized. It will be very different from the way that I did my YouTube sales. Um, because basically the prices are going to be different than my Etsy shop. But you're not going to get the packaging that you get with the Etsy shop. You're not going to get a full invoice. You'll get um, an actual invoice. It's not going to be like through pays and PayPal friends and family, you'll still get an invoice, but, um, it's going to be a lot easier for me basically. Uh, so I can spend more time getting stuff together versus, you know, trying to, I don't know how I'm trying to say this. Why are you clogged up? I was just using you. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to basically be doing things very simply. It will be very easy for me and it will be very quick, straightforward because the goal is to offer you guys something at a discounted price, but not have more work to do because that doesn't make any sense for me. You know what I mean? It makes more sense to offer you guys discounted price if I can do it at less work. Um, so, and it will not be the same items that are on my store. The items that are on my store are going to stay on my store at the prices that they're at. Um, I will maintain my inventory on my shop. I will continue to put inventory on my shop. Um, there will just be a difference of inventory. Basically, I'll have two shops. I'll have my Etsy shop and then I'll have my Facebook shop. And my Facebook shop is the one that's you're not really going to know what the inventory is until I show you guys that day. Um, Miss Esme is um, one of the biggest inspirations for me to go into the Facebook cells itself because she does it very well. Um, she is very organized in the way that she does it. Uh, it's very smooth operating. Sorry. Okay. I'm done. Anyway. Um, and it's very smooth the way that she does it and handles it. And oh my goodness gracious. I love that. Okay. And anyway, all right, I'm going to actually have to take these all out. Spent all that time putting them together. Now I got to take it out. All that. Okay. So anyway, but she also does not do itemized invoicing. She sends you an invoice. It's just not itemized. And that is actually was my, okay, I can do this with whatever. That was my inspiration for that. Ooh. All right. I'm just cutting the corners off of the corners to kind of minimize the bulk. So anyway, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to post pictures. They're not going to be very detailed pictures because, again, that defeats the whole purpose. I'm not going to put, like, a whole bunch of work into it. Otherwise, I would just post it on Etsy. Um, but I will try to give you guys a preview. And like I said, if you're not already part of my Facebook group, um, I will leave. I will try to remember to leave a link in the description box. I'll actually try to put it on my default so it just shows up every time I load a video. Um,
And if I don't already have your information, then I will need your information before you purchase anything. Um, you will not be allowed to purchase unless I have your information. And you will have a couple people that you can send it to. Um, it will be either myself, my husband, or my oldest daughter. Um, actually, no, I don't even think she's in my Facebook group. Wait, it'll be either myself or my husband. Because you can't send anything to my daughter. Because y'all don't know her. Um, I'm pretty excited though. I want to try to have my first sale within the first couple weeks of January. So, um, I want to try to make sure it's in the evening so people won't feel like they're missing out because they're at work or, you know, whatever. I'm just putting a little bit of glue in the corners here. And then rolling up. I know I've said this a couple of times. I think I need a bigger desk. I'm going to zoom you guys out again. Um, but I know as soon as I get a bigger desk, I'm going to need a bigger desk. That's how it works, right? That's like when you um, when you can't find something and you buy a new one and then you find it. And you find the old one. So I think uh, just because of sheer volume, I think the first thing that I'm going to be... Um, doing is laces and trims or napkins or both but there are a ton a ton of laces and trims that I do not have inventoried and put on my shop yet I have a whole wall of laces and trims that I have not inventoried yet I have two drawers full of napkins that I have not put on my shop yet and I had, I wonder if that glue eraser would work on my fingers. Oh, it works on my fingers. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so awesome. I have always hated getting Fabri-Tac on my fingers because it doesn't come off. This thing is magic. This thing is awesome. It's a little thing. I got a Dollar Tree. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay. That was cool. All right. So now we're going to do the other side. Down here. Hey, I don't mind touching the fabric tack now because it's going to come off. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. Ah, my nose itches. My nose itches. All right. Just putting some extra glue down here where I missed.
I'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> oh gosh, that's that's funny. That's so funny. Okay, so this is the front. Um, I'll put something on the front, but let's get this part here covered up because it just looks a hot mess at the moment. So I've got some, let's see. Actually, I have got some, where'd you go? Oh, anyway, I have got some of my, um, oh, that's not enough, that is paper, but I have also got some, I don't know if y'all can hear that. Nope, it doesn't sound like you can. If I talk, you might be able to hear it, but. If I'm silent, maybe not. All right, so let's go with this one here. Let's go right about right about there. All right, we're gonna do two of those. I grab that, grab that, and that. Alright. I'll line this bad boy up. So I have so many projects to get done with you guys. It's crazy. Where's my glue? There it is. But I really wanted to get this one done so I could do more projects because I want to record um, them going down. You know what? No, I have to do it at least on this part. I'll just go ahead and do it. Um, I was going to say I could do the tape runner but I have lace and fabric down so that is probably not a good idea because I do want this to last at least a full year but given the inserts I hope that it will last a couple years but I need to make sure that my construction will allow it to last a couple years I'll make sure to put the date on here somewhere um that way i can go back and look at it and you know however many years and be like oh yeah i made that on january 2021 and hopefully i can say that's the year that you know we solved the pandemic problem you know whatever um hopefully maybe one day and yeah. So, make sure get in there. Doesn't look like that one's going to want to come up, so that's good. I just had to pry it open so I could put more glue in there. Seems a little counterproductive. But, you know, hey, what is? Alright. Go 
the glue off of that. And then take this one here. What's our time at? 30 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. I think we're going to finish. All right, make sure we get our edges nice and good. Okay, I'm going to take this right there. Right. Where'd you go? There. Okay. All right. And that is it. Oh, I've got a couple extra goobers over here. Let's erase that. Off my paper. Okay. All right. This thing is magic. I have no idea what the heck it is. I know it's a glue eraser. I didn't know that was a thing, but. It takes glue off of your paper. It takes glue off of your fingers. This thing is awesome. Fabri-Tac, nonetheless. Fabri-Tac. Like, this thing is crazy. Okay. So, anyway, we'll fill that back up in a moment. Let's find something that's nice and pretty that we want to add to the front of this. This one's pretty. That one's pretty. I don't want to go darker and put like a complete contrast on it. I like that too. That one's cool. I wonder if I have bigger. Do I have bigger down here? Let's see. Not really. Watch, I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to find one that's like ginormous. Oh, could also do something like this. That's cool. Ah! Just kind of looking over here, seeing what else we got. I actually really like that. All right, so which one goes first? This one? All right. All right, come out. Come on. There we go. And I got these from Padded Heart, Padded Heart Company. She is on vacation at the moment. Um... But that's where I got them from. I absolutely 
love these things. They're great to add to any project. Okay. And we're going to add this one. And I love the quiltedness, the quilted work of it, because I can't quilt. I tried. I cannot quilt. And what I think is funny is I've heard so many people are like, you can quilt. I'm like, no, I really can't. I have tried. I've watched tutorials. I can do a lot of things in my life. I can do a lot of things that are creative. Quilting is not one of them. Oh, but quilting's so easy. Yeah, I am happy for you that you find it easy. I am glad that you found something that works for you. I don't like quilting. I like what it looks like. I think it is beautimous. But I get angry with it because it does not work the way that I want it to. It does not do what I want it to. And I do everything those stupid videos tell me to. And it's like, nope. Mm -mm. Okay. I think the biggest thing is, is I don't have the patience for it. Like, I seriously do not have the patience that it takes to quilt. So, like, a lot of the things, I just buy them and add them to my projects. This says let it snow, but that's okay. Nobody's perfect. I don't want it to snow all throughout the year. Certain times is fine. But, and it actually ends up flipping over backwards anyway. So, so this actually started out, I don't know if you guys remember, but it started out uh, like a pinky polka dotted color like this. But the colors that I used actually match this decently well. And you can kind of sort of see it through. But that's okay because it still matches. And yeah, that's it. So we've got our planner, our YouTube planner is what I'm calling this, my YouTube planner. I have got my YouTube planner completely done and set up. Now I just have to fill in the dates and then I can start recording. Um, not recording videos, but recording writing. And yeah. Uh, well, it would be awesome if you would go in the hole. What are you doing down there? Okay, got stuck on something. All right, there we go. That was weird. All right, so I might change this and nope. It's green on that side too. Oh well. We'll figure something out. We'll make it work. But anyway, that's it. That is my YouTube planner for at least the next couple years. Uh, I will work on filling in the dates and making sure that everything is recorded well and organized. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on this little adventure of craft with me, journal with me, plan with me, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure by now I already have a title picked out for it, but, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will catch you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.